took game one. The Nuggets took the next two. What do you think about the Joker's performance? Stretch Mark 5. The Joker's playing like a guy that can actually lead this team in winning this series. Mm. And the one thing that the Nuggets do, just like the Lakers, they play something that we like, I like to call tall ball. Talk to me. And, and that, to me, is the difference in these two squads. When I'm looking late in the game and the Joker's on the post and he's being guarded by Covington, who's my size at 6'7", I know that that's a mismatch because they don't have as many big bodies in Portland other than Nurkic that can yep. just can physically c combat the bulk and the height of Gordon who can now play against Dame in the backcourt and the Joker who's playing up, up front. And just the height and the athleticism that the Nuggets can put out there has been a big time problem for them. I miss Jamal Murray so much. Yes. I miss Jamal Murray so much. I feel like Jamal Murray makes this Western Conference so much more competitive. However, without Jamal Murray, you know what that means. You know what that means. What does that mean? More Compazzo! My king! Facundo Campazzo did his thing last night. Granted, he cannot guard Damian Lillard. Like, he can't guard <laughs> Damian Lillard even close. However, Campazzo put up a stat line. You know that my king, Campazzo, he stands like, what, 5'4", five, 5'6". Five, he had eight rebounds. He had eight assists. You don't care about you his rebounds. You have to put some respect on Campazzo's name, Jim. You care about his it fancy passes. It is time passes. for you to come around to Campazzo Town. If they win the West, are you going to put Campazzo's picture up? First of all, they ain't win the West. The Lakers are winning the West. We that's all know that. that. We all know Lakers are winning the West. That's why I had your back. You I know what I mean? Yo, Campazzo <laughs> is the best 30-year-old rookie to ever play in the NBA. You know that's a fact. Arvita Sabonis on line one. Oh, no. Don't do that. You know Arvita Sabonis is my guy. <laughs> I just want to apologize to the whole Sabonis family. I want to apologize to, DeMont apologize to DeMontis. I want to apologize to Arvidas. Arvita Sabonis, I love you so much because he throws fancy passes even better than Compazzo. Moving on to another game last night, the Bucks versus the Heat. Jalen, I thought this was going to be much more competitive. I really thought it was going to be much more competitive. I can't front. I'm disappointed in the Miami Heat, Tef. Talk to me. And... For a team that's the defending Eastern Conference champion, of course you're going to start with their best players. And Bam and Butler have been a shell of themselves this year versus how they performed last year, in particular in the bubble and leading this team to the finals. And also, let's go deeper into the box score. Where's Duncan Robinson? Where's Tyler Hero? Goran Dragos was at 20 last year before he got hurt. Mm -hmm. Like the, the Miami Heat have been a total disappointment. I didn't pick them to win the series. But I didn't pick them to get swept. It looks Where's like my Wally's Wally's? I should have brought it in here. I got I got my Wally's Wally's right here at work. Man, I should have brought it in here. Jalen, I picked the Heat to win this series. Look at the difference between last year in the wow. bubble and this year in the postseason. Wow. It's wild to me. It's absolutely wild. I was so worried about channeling my quest love and wearing my pick. I forgot my brush. I, I forgot my uh, my Wally's Wally's. Jalen. Here's the thing, though, because I love the heat. I love the heat culture, and I love Miami Beach. Okay. I see the future. Uh-oh. I see oh. the future. Oh. I see the future. Oh. I see what's happening to the Clippers, and I see what's happening to the heat, and I see change. And do you know what I see? I see Pat Riley on the phone. Mm. You know who he's calling? He he's has a lot calling, of numbers. He's calling Kawhi Leonard. He's on the phone what? with Kawhi Leonard, and he's going to bring what? Kawhi Leonard to South Beach. Everybody says, oh, Kawhi Leonard wants to live in Southern California. You know what else is nice? Southern Florida. Mm. I see the Clippers losing in round one, the Heat losing in round one, and both of those teams trying to make some change. And I see Kawhi Leonard to the Heat this offseason. Tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. I, uh, I plead the fifth, but here's what I will say. Are you going to do that to the Clippers? Like, as many years as you lived in L.A., they finally got their chance. Adding Kawhi, adding PG. So you're saying that they're going to lose in the first round. Yeah. And Kawhi's going to leave? Yeah. Wow. Another thing I see, I'm done talking about the Heat and the Bucks. You know what I want to talk about? The Nets mm. and the Bucks. I want to talk about the Nets I like and the Bucks. I like what you did there, sir. That is a great second round series. I like what series. you did there, sir. I like Fast the Nets forward. versus the Bucks. I like the Nets versus the Bucks, and we will discuss that. But Jalen Rose, as we often do on this program, we have, and it was LeBron James mm -hmm. and Anthony Davis getting it done for the Lakers. Are you now ready to say they're going to win these? If they can't conference? do it, homie, it can't be done, especially without Chris Paul. 
course I'm going to you know, appreciate the fact that Anthony Davis has been attacking the paint the last couple yep. of games. Yep. Multiple paint touches, unlike any other game. And LeBron James driving, getting on the post, showing his versatility. Those two guys playing like superstars when they're healthy. But let's not ignore the fact that Chris Paul is hobbled. Mm -hmm. You know, like, CP3 has been a terrific performer this entire season. A leader of this squad. And he can't really lift his arm above his head, Jacoby. See it during the game. You know what I mean? See it during the game. Like, you, you know how feisty he is as a defender. You know how terrific he is as an offensive weapon and as a scorer. Like, he he's hobbled. And I just hate to see this Phoenix Suns team that would have made this a long, promising series right. to now end in a gentleman's sweep. It feels like it's headed that direction. But as I look forward at this Lakers team as they progress through the Western Conference, Kyle Kuzma has become important. Kyle Kuzma's been an up and down player, but last night, Kyle Kuzma looked great. Yeah, he did. He was contributing, and they've got like a nine or 10 person rotation. If Kyle Kuzma plays like this, and they can get this kind of production from him, they're gonna be a problem. Here's the secret. When you have great talent like the Lakers and the Nets, the key is gonna be the ball movement. Yep. The basketball has energy, and when everybody feels involved, they now master their role. It's no secret. And Kyle Kuzma had his turn. They lost KCP to an injury, yep. but he still had his turn, and he made the most of it. This Lakers team, when they're operating on, on, on all cylinders, in, in particular as an injured seven seed, it's going to be a really tough out for this number two seed. Just remember I said Lakers, Nets, Finals. Oh. Remember I said oh. that a long oh. time ago. Oh. You're going to come around. You're going to come around eventually, oh. but remember I said that a long time ago, and there are a couple teams that have something to say about the Lakers getting to the Finals, and those two teams are the the Nuggets and the Blade. Coming to you live above the Heineken River Deck here at Pier 17 in the South Street Seaport District of Manhattan. Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Jalen Rose. What up, though? There is a huge game on the horizon. The Los Angeles Clippers. They tanked against the Thunder and the Rockets <laughs> to match up against these Mavericks, and they don't want these Luka problems. Jalen, what do Kawhi and PG need to do to win this game? This is the biggest game in Los Angeles Clippers history. Whoa! Now, shout Whoa. to Norm Nixon, my OG. I remember when he played and Lloyd Vaught played and Danny Manning played and Q Rich and D Miles and Lamar Odom, my guy Mo Taylor. Like, I know the history of the Clippers. Mm -hmm. They don't have a retired number and they don't have a statue in front of their building. As a matter of fact, I don't believe they have a Hall of Famer. Okay. Wow. The last time they were in a position to be a contender was kind of like Lob City. Yeah. But at least Lob City had a few good seasons. This is the first round. They got bounced in the bubble last year after adding Kawhi and Paul George by our Denver Nuggets. And then you come back the next year, change coaches from Dr. T. Lou. And lose in the first round? Oh, no, they just, no, 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 no. They set up this first round matchup. They lost to the Rockets and the Thunder, who were both tanking to set up this matchup, and now they have the Luka problems. And if what you're saying is correct, doesn't it kind of become really important to keep Kawhi Leonard? Yes. Okay, so at least with Lob City, I was at the game when they lost to Houston when they came back almost yep. down 20. Remember. Like, I remember like the Clipper meltdowns in certain playoff games, but they were in the second and third round against, they weren't necessarily the favorite like this. And so for Paul, for Kawhi, it's do or die. For Patrick Beverly, it's do or die. You know why? Because Luka's been scoring buckets actually on everybody. Them in particular. Everybody. But them in particular. And they're the lockdown defenders. And shout out to Tim Hardaway Jr. Put some respect on his name. He out here bombing for three, putting up 20 plus. He been balling. If they can get a game from Kristaps, your guy, can he give him a game? Yeah, can Chris yeah. Dobbs give him a hey, game? He was good in game two. He was. He was good in game two. All he needs to do is go to the strip club first. Correct. And then he performs in the game. Well, here's so the right thing. right now, Chris Dobbs is at the strip club right now getting ready for game That's three. That's not how this works. It's the playoffs. He had to go in L.A. because he was on the road. Now he's at home. You spend that $50,000 $50, at the house. 
Jalen, I agree with you. This is the biggest <laughs> game in the history of Talk the franchise. To me. But let me tell you Talk why. Talk to me. They signed Paul George to an extension, which they might regret. However, they won't regret if it. If they lose in the first round, Kawhi Leonard is going to get a call from Pat Riley, as I mentioned before. Mm. And I'm telling you, Kawhi Leonard to the Miami Heat, if they both lose in the mm. first round, is a real thing. Imagine, bam. Jimmy Butler and Kawhi on the Heat. Pat Riley got LeBron James from Cleveland to Miami Beach. You think he can't uproot Kawhi Leonard from Los Angeles to Miami? And also, they've been there, done that. Don't talk about the dynamics of the Miami Heat without mentioning Eric Spolstra. Yep. Because whether it's a LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh, whether it's Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo is developing players like Duncan Robinson and Kendrick Nunn, I've seen him do it. But for Clipper fans, again, this is the most important game in the history of your franchise. And our producer, Demetrius, he's a Clipper fan, right? Yeah. He loves the Raiders as well. And he <laughs> called himself jumping on the bandwagon. Now he's not kikiing. No. Nope. Right, they're down 2 0. And they Demetrius. lost both of their home games. Have you seen D? Uh uh. Oh, heard okay. About him. Is he still on this show? I haven't heard anything okay. from Demetrius about the Clippers. I ain't seen him. Well, Jalen, there's something that we must address. And frankly, I'm disturbed and disgusted by the way that NBA fans have behaved. I love having the fans in the game. I love the playoff atmosphere. However, okay. we have Trey Young getting spit on by someone in the second row. We have Russell Westbrook having popcorn poured on him. And now we have Ja Morant's father being heckled with racist remarks from the stands. Jalen, how do you feel about the way the fans, these, these bad apples, have impacted these playoffs? So I want to make sure that individuals don't become the mass. That's as important. somebody that's been a part of this league on every level, basically, as a player and then as a fan and still going to a lot of games, like the NBA has done a terrific job of creating a fan experience like no other in professional sports. They're basically able to touch the f players, able to slap high fives with the players, and that fan experience has grown the game exponentially and the popularity of the players and the salaries of the players and the growth of the game. But with that being said, what is the one singular thing, your brother, for 10 years, what's the one thing I don't like when I'm in public? People taking pictures of you without asking. Because I'm not a zoo animal, right? I will do it. You don't have to be like, I got you, right? I don't like that. And this reminds me of that because you pay for your ticket, you're getting entertained, but you're trying to treat us like we're the zoo animals. And you wouldn't even throw popcorn on them. No. You wouldn't even spit on them. You wouldn't even hurl racist chants at them. So when I say my black life matters and there's 29 messages on the back of jerseys, this is players. This is what players are talking about. I am here more than just for your entertainment. No, I will not shut up and dribble. You get a chance to come watch me perform. But if you're against me and you're probably had a few beverages and you're so very excited about the game, that ain't your chance to disrespect me. And to spit on somebody is disgusting. Never done it in my whole life. Right. I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked it actually happened. I'm shocked it happened. Someone is sitting in a $5,000 seat spit on an NBA player. Jacoby, I'm shocked Jacoby, can I, can I tell you what also I'm disappointed? I need the NBA to step in and go harsher on these punishments. Yes. Like, each of these individuals should be banned in perpetuity from all NBA-sanctioned events, not just from this year. Oh, no, concerts. Not just, exactly. Concerts, exactly. everything that happens at that venue, Absolutely. you need to be banned for life. A a Absolutely. And, and, and I really need that to happen. But you know what else I need to happen? When you go to Madison Square Garden, or whether you at the Wells Fargo Center in Philly, or whether you in Utah, whether you in uh, in DC, you know where they You know what's present? Cameras. And you know what makes me disappointed? That okay. I can't really see the face of the person that spit on Trey Young. I haven't said. I Where's haven't that, said that camera? I heard that Where's that name? footage at? I have not okay. heard that person's and, and name or seen their the face. The person in Philly was a season ticket holder. They know who he is. Okay, the per Matt, I see the footage of Charles Oakley from a lot of different angles. Where's the footage of this guy spitting on Trey Young? We need point. receipts. We need to see their face. Hold them accountable. Jalen, we have game three. Knicks 
versus Stop disrespecting Boston. the brother. The night. Trey Young. He said, I'll see you in the A. We will see him in the A tonight, and we will preview that game. Peace up. A town down. You're watching Jalen and Jacoby. Stay tuned. Got to give the people.